here he is. Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? It, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru, actually. She might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... okay... All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon! It's huge! I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Uh, go. Shut those doors. Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone. Damn it! What the hell's going on? We're totally lost here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've got to hurry. Hey! Wait for me! Two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> oh 
What's going on? Nothing's working! Sonata-san! Gotta draw the shadows away! Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. Hey! What the...? No, what are you doing here? Moriyama-san? Hey, come back! Please, get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you. I'm sorry. Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. Just what we'd hope for. It's even more accurate than Mitsuru's. What's next? Uh -huh. 
Don't worry. It's over. Luca... You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! It's alright. She's just exhausted. Luca... Luca... I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. At 
looks like she's learned her lesson. Good morning. Precisely. who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. All right, fine. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? should not be tolerated at school. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but... I don't want you to get criticized, too. Oh, I 
I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me.
Conditioning in here too high. I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? Get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there. You on your way over from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down at a cafe and chat a little? Um, I. Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not gonna fight. No, please stop. Uh, senpai. What do you want? What are you glaring like that for anyways? Wait, you're not with her, are you? Ah, she's friggin' taken. Usually so quiet, but I guess you can be tough when you need to be. I don't mean that in a bad way, though. I, um, <sighs> you've already saved me, so I'm not scared anymore. But why am I still shaking? down a bit thank you I think I'm fine now huh? well, why 
do I suddenly feel short of breath? Senpai, I... I think I really did catch a cold. I feel like my face is all flush. Um, thank you again for saving me today. Now, please excuse me. So, you're Fukuyamagishi-kun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Ah, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. Great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sanada-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring.
morning. Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you. Luka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today. As usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 